Um, how does a brand stay competitive in this fast changing um, and sometimes cutthroat startup world? And I think that's a really great question. Um, I think that when it comes to you staying competitive, I think it's about keeping your edge. I think that sometimes people, once they build the brand, they put a lot of energy and love into building the brand and they hand it off to um, a community manager or that person just gets kind of pulled into other things and it doesn't get the attention that it needs. And I think that really maintaining a strong brand voice and positioning is really essential for keeping your competitive edge. And I'd say that companies that have done it really well, again, you know, look at some of the startups that have really scaled up, um, the Airbnbs, the fabs of the world, um, you know, that really have done a great job with keeping their edge. I think it's really important to continue to keep your message um, strong and consistent and, you know, iterate on it as it's needed. Um, so those are a couple things that's really important is making sure that you're consistent, making sure that your voice is on point, uh, not only from a consistency, but also that you continue to build that edge. So as your customers um, sort of get more familiar with you, you might be able to kind of move that, that guardrail away a little bit in terms of um, where the line is. You might be able to get much more personal with your messaging. You might be able to add a lot more to it. So, you know, some of the things to take into consideration is, is like continuing to evolve and iterate on that voice is really super um, helpful. Now, some of the other things that will help you stay competitive is really staying on top of what other folks are doing. And then making strategic decisions about whether you need to change or you should continue to evolve in a certain direction or if there's other opportunities that maybe might be worth you pursuing that weren't on the radar. And I think that where um, a lot of startups find you know, their big growth moments are in moments of serendipity, even for us with you know, Pfizer picking up the phone and calling, like you know, we had just turned down a pretty large um, sort of deal with another company and we're going through sort of one of those points where um, you know, we weren't kind of sure what direction we wanted to grow the company into. And I could have just thought that it was a prank the way that it was because we had really worked mostly with tech startups. So you know, somebody from Pfizer just picking up the phone one day and just calling my line directly didn't seem so fathomable. So I think there's a, a lot of times there's sort of these serendipitous things that happen in an entrepreneur's life that if you can take a step back and ask the question of, well, why do you think that we're the right fit or well, why did you approach us or why did you want to talk or whatnot and really trying to understand what those opportunities are can unlock um, things that you would never have been able to plan yourself uh, but can really take you in great directions. So I think that some of that is also just keeping aware of what's going on in the marketplace and your competitive space uh, so that you can take opportunities as you go. And the last thing that I would say in terms of staying competitive is build momentum and don't take your foot off that accelerator unless you really need to rethink something because momentum has a wonderful way of creating opportunities for folks. If you really build that momentum, it's easy for it to snowball and snowball and snowball and that's where amazing business opportunities also happen.